Out with the old, in with the new. This age-old saying perfectly captures the spirit of Ghost Rider 3, the upcoming sequel to the iconic franchise. After two films that divided both audiences and critics, the creative team behind Ghost Rider has decided to take the series in a different direction. This bold move promises to shake things up and bring a fresh perspective to the world of the fiery anti-hero. Fans are eagerly anticipating the film's new release, wondering what changes will be made and how they will affect the beloved character. In this video, we'll delve into the details of Ghost Rider 3's different path and explore why it's a departure from previous films. The Ghost Rider franchise has been a staple of the comic book and superhero movie genre for over a decade. The story follows Johnny Blaze, a stunt motorcyclist who becomes the host of a powerful demonic entity known as the Ghost Rider. The character's popularity has spawned numerous adaptations, including two feature films starring Nicolas Cage as Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. Now, after almost a decade since the last Ghost Rider film, the franchise is back with a vengeance. The announcement of Ghost Rider 3 has caused a stir among fans as it promises to go down a different path than its predecessors. This exciting news has left many wondering what new direction the franchise will take and what changes we can expect to see in the upcoming film. While the first two Ghost Rider movies were commercially successful, Ghost Rider 3's different path suggests a willingness to break free from the past and explore the new creative territory. Now let's get back to Ghost Rider 1 and 2 both were box office hits, but they received mixed reviews from both audiences and critics. In the first film, we were introduced to Johnny Blaze, a stunt motorcyclist who makes a deal with the devil to save his father's life. The deal comes with a catch. Johnny becomes the Ghost Rider, a fiery demon who must do the devil's bidding. The film's themes of redemption, vengeance, and the struggle between good and evil were explored through flashy action scenes and a hard-rocking soundtrack. The sequel, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, takes place years after the events of the first film. Johnny Blaze is living in self-imposed exile, trying to control the Ghost Rider within him. He's recruited by a group of rebels to help protect a young boy who the devil is after. This film took a darker turn, with more graphic violence and a grittier aesthetic. However, some critics felt that the story was convoluted and that the film didn't live up to its potential. Despite the mixed critical reception, both films were commercial successes, grossing over $400 million combined worldwide. They also introduced a new generation of fans to the Ghost Rider character and his world. The film's stylistic choices, such as the use of practical effects and intense action scenes, were praised by many. Overall, the Ghost Rider franchise has always been known for its over-the-top action and unique character design. The themes of redemption and the battle between good and evil have been present throughout both films, making them entertaining to watch for fans of the supernatural and superhero genres. While some may have been disappointed with the previous films, Ghost Rider 3 promises to take the franchise in a different direction, offering a fresh perspective on the beloved character. Ghost Rider 3 is set to take the franchise in a bold new direction, departing from the tone and style of its predecessors. The filmmakers have brought on board a talented and visionary team, including a new director and writers, to help realize their vision for the film. Their goal is to create a more character-driven and emotionally impactful story that will resonate with audiences in a way that previous films did not. To achieve this, Ghost Rider 3 will be taking on a darker and grittier tone, exploring the psychological depths of its protagonist and the dark forces that surround him. The film will also be introducing new and exciting characters, as well as reviving old favorites, all of whom will play a pivotal role in shaping the story and its themes. This new direction is a stark departure from the campy and over-the-top style of the previous films, which received mixed reactions from audiences and critics alike. By contrast, Ghost Rider 3 promises to be a more nuanced and thought-provoking film, one that will stay with audiences long after the credits roll. Finally, Ghost Rider 3's new direction reflects a daring and thrilling new chapter in the franchise's history. This picture is expected to be a smash with fans and newbies alike, thanks to a great creative team at the helm and a unique style that promises to be both dark and poignant. Taking a new direction can be a risky move, but in the case of Ghost Rider 3, it has the potential to pay off in a big way. One of the advantages of this different path is that it allows for a fresh take on the character and the story. By breaking away from the formula of the previous films, the creative team can explore new themes and ideas, breathing new life into the franchise. However, with change comes potential challenges and risks. 
The risk of alienating longtime fans is a real concern, but if executed correctly, the new direction could attract new audiences while still satisfying the diehard Ghost Rider fans. Another potential challenge is striking the right tone. The previous films were known for their over-the-top action and stylized visuals, but the new direction could call for a more grounded, character-driven approach. Ultimately, the success of Ghost Rider 3 will depend on how well the filmmakers navigate these challenges and risks. The future of the franchise is also at stake. If the film is well-received, it could lead to more sequels and spin-offs. However, if it falls short, it could mean the end of the Ghost Rider franchise as we know it. As fans eagerly await the release of Ghost Rider 3, only time will tell if the different path was the right choice. The cast and crew of Ghost Rider 3 are a talented and diverse group, bringing their unique perspectives and experiences to the table. Returning to the role of Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider is the legendary actor and producer Nicolas Cage. His portrayal of the cursed stuntman has become an iconic part of the franchise's legacy, and fans are excited to see him reprise the role once again. Joining him is a new cast of characters, including rising star Anya Taylor-Joy, who will be playing a mysterious and powerful figure with a connection to the supernatural. Director Karen Kusama, known for her work on films like The Invitation and Destroyer, has a unique vision for Ghost Rider 3. Her previous work has been praised for its intricate character development and gripping storytelling, which bodes well for the franchise's future. With her at the helm, audiences can expect a more grounded and character-driven approach to the story, which is a departure from the previous film's more bombastic action and visual effects. Overall, the cast and crew of Ghost Rider 3 are an exciting mix of established and up-and-coming talent, each bringing their strengths to the project. Their collaborative efforts promise to bring a new level of depth and complexity to the Ghost Rider universe, and fans are eagerly anticipating what they have in store for them. When it comes to the production design and visual effects, they are set to be some of the most jaw-dropping aspects of the film. The creative team has promised a fresh and modern aesthetic that's different from the previous films in the franchise. The use of CGI and special effects are expected to be on a whole new level, bringing the fiery anti-hero's powers to life like never before. The film's production design will also be a standout feature, with new sets and locations that will transport audiences to new and exciting worlds. Ghost Rider 3 is poised to be a visually stunning film that will leave viewers in awe. With the advancements in technology since the last Ghost Rider film, it's exciting to see how the production design and visual effects will elevate the franchise and take it to new heights. And at last, Ghost Rider 3's new direction aims to give the franchise a new viewpoint. The picture has the potential to be a huge success, thanks to a fresh creative team, improvements in tone and style, and cutting-edge product design and visual effects. While it remains to be seen how viewers react to the new approach, one thing is certain, the Ghost Rider series is far from dead, and the future of the flaming anti-hero seems bright. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.